Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be the second installment to my little mini foundation routine series here on my channel. In my first video, I showed you guys how to get flawless matte looking skin using the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how to get glowing luminous skin using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I also have another option here that you could use, which is the YSL Le Tent Touche Eclat Foundation. This one is way more expensive though, so I did use this one as a cheaper alternative because this one is crazy expensive. But they're both great healthy luminous glowing foundations which I think is perfect for summer as you can see I kind of have like a sultry like orangey copper eye going on I will have a tutorial for this eye and lip and just this overall makeup look coming soon so I will link that down below when it's available but if you want to learn how to get healthy glowing luminous skin then please keep watching Hey guys, so we're going to start with primer. I would usually use the Professional, but I'm trying out this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. So I'm pressing that into, skin, into the skin to prime for our foundation to fill any pores because a luminous foundation can sometimes highlight those. And then for foundation, I would go with the L'Oreal True Match or the YSL Tent Touche Eclat. But I chose the True Match today because I just think it's a little bit more accessible for everybody. So I'm squirting three pumps of that onto my little coaster that I like to use as a palette and then I'm taking my Sigma F80 brush for this foundation because I find that it's the best brush for this liquidy type of foundation to really press it into the skin and buff it out and stuff so I'm basically pressing that into the skin first not really working in sections this time just pressing as I go because we want to get this really into the skin so that it wears a lot longer since it's a more luminous foundation we want to really like help as much as we can with the longevity of it so I'm pressing it into the skin and yes it's dark for my skin tone on my face but it does match the rest of my body and it looks pretty normal so don't be scared about how orange it looks right now and so now that I've pressed it into my skin I'm going to go back and buff it so that all of those weird patchy marks can just blend right into the skin and look seamless and flawless but I also pat as I go because I don't know it's kind of like a combo of padding and buffing motions but as long as you do both of those you'll be fine so just keep going over it blending it buffing it patting it until it looks good to you and I will eventually go over with some more foundation just to cover some problem areas here I go one more pump getting that on the tips of my brush and then going over the spots that I think need a little more coverage so that's usually around my cheeks and around my nose where I get a little red and then anywhere else on the face that has um, a blemish or anything and then I'm dotting that patting it into the skin and then buffing it out and this is going to be great for a luminous foundation instead of using concealer because you want it to look as natural as possible and I'm going over my eyes as well to blend the color since it is a little light for my uh, face skin tone and I'm just buffing 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 all of that into the skin and once again going back over with a little more foundation on some blemishes because I want a luminous look to be as natural as possible so I don't mind a few blemishes peeking through but I want to be able to cover them as much as possible without having to use like a heavy concealer and this is what my foundation looks like once it's done now I've done my eye makeup and we're gonna move on to concealer this is the Maybelline instant age rewind dark circle concealer that you guys know that I love so I'm basically taking that under the eye in like a nice big triangle shape also cleaning up the eyeshadow on the edge with it which I think is like a great added benefit of doing your your concealer in this triangle shape because you get to clean up those edges of your eyeshadow and then I'm taking some down the center of my nose and the center of my forehead and on the cupid's bow and on the chin to highlight the face and once the concealer is on and I look like a crazy person, I'm going to go in with this soft blend concealer brush from Sigma. It's part of that spot on concealer kit and oh my god, I'm in love with it. I didn't think I needed so many brushes just for concealer, but I literally use every single brush in the kit. But I'm basically just going over where I put that concealer and pressing it into the skin and patting it rather than like really sweeping it. I will eventually take my foundation brush and like blend the edges with that just so that the colors match a little better. But 
but I'm basically going over this and pressing it into the skin to blend it out and it actually picks up a little of that extra concealer that's on there because I did load it on and it kind of picks it up and makes it so that it's not as cakey and since this brush is nice and big it just makes it so easy and quick to like blend out your concealer it's amazing and if I didn't love the beauty well like lately I've been using this instead of the beauty blender because I've been too lazy to go and wet it and so now I'm taking my uh, flat top kabuki again and just going over where the concealer is just to blend it into the foundation color a little bit better and so just it just looks a little natural now with my small tapered highlighting brush and my MAC MSF I'm just setting the face like where I put the concealer just so the concealer doesn't move because it is pretty thin and I don't want it to slide around and now to contour I'm taking my favorite satin finish bronzer which is the Vincent Longo bronzer that I always talk about and this tapered face brush and I'm using this brush to kind of contour and bronze at the same time. I will take a little more of a detailed brush to contour a little more but I just love this brush with this bronzer because it makes it so like blended and bronzy and beautiful and so I just really love this brush with this bronzer and I chose this bronzer because it is a satin finish and doesn't like matte out the sin. And now just to contour my face a little bit more, I'm going to take this brush that came with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and just go back with a little more of that bronzer and contour a little bit better just to give the face a little bit more shape. So I'm just running that back and forth and now I'm taking that tapered face brush and buffing it all together so it's like nice and seam seamless. Now for my favorite luminous blush, it, it would either be Milani Luminoso or Max uh, Stereo Rose, but today I chose Stereo Rose because, I don't know, I was feeling more of like a pinky corally vibe rather than just like the straight coral that uh, Lum Luminoso has. So I just went on my cheeks with the F40 brush from Sigma, my favorite blush brush, and the Max Stereo Rose. And I always take it down the center of my face. Um, now for highlight I'm layering two. This is Max Cream Color Base in Hush and this is a large fluff brush from Sigma and I'm basically just running that along the tops of my cheekbones and the high point the highest points of my face as my first highlight because I think layering highlights really gives you like the maximum glow factor. So I went first with this one since it's a cream product and just put that on. It's not too intense of a highlight, but we're gonna make it intense with the Mary Lumin Luminizer from the Balm over top of it, because this is like the uh, most amazing powder highlighter ever, and my small tapered highlighting brush, which is amazing, and just going over exactly where we put that Hush highlight and kind of pack it on the glow. <laughs> especially on the cupid's bow that's like my favorite part of the face to highlight and a little tiny bit on the chin then i went back with my blush brush just to blend everything together and that is basically it so this is your finished luminous healthy dewy gorgeous skin and i hope you all enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys